nice and cool day. How's it? How's the start been the first couple of days? We're in a good place. The guys are showing up and they're working hard. They're eager to learn and get better and work on fundamentals. So we're, we're in a good place. So when, when you got here, you had the whole spring. Before you got here, did you realize how much competition there would be in this in your group? Because it, it appears to be like the guys are really bad and there's quite a few of them. They are. They are. I did not realize it would, it would be this much competition in the spring. The bodies were le less amount of bodies, if you will. Sturge wasn't healthy in the spring. He missed some time. And um, uh, CJ was, 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 was injured in the spring, so he missed some time as well. And everybody's healthy right now. And we definitely signed the right young guys to come in and play. And it's, it's been a pleasure to show up to work every day. With Sturgill, he never really got healthy last year. And only more here. What did you see in some films you watched, and what can he do to help you guys with his speed and his athleticism? Not so much film uh, from last year, because like you said, he was injured, and you know I wasn't I wasn't here last year, and I don't like to get my mind polluted, if you will, with what what happened or what didn't happen last year. But I knew in the spring, the, the few days that he had where he was healthy, he showed some things. You know, he can run. And uh, he showed that when he was healthy in the spring. And he's really committed himself this summer to being a really good football player, or at least the best football player that he can be. Um, he's done a lot of work from a diet standpoint and just taking care of his body and learning the playbook. So um, he, he's, he's, he's done a good job, and he's positioned himself to show up and, and give himself an opportunity to play. What's P.J. mean to the secondary? PJ does a good job. He's he's well spoken, yeah. and uh, he brings great length to the secondary. And when when he when he's playing at, at his best, you know it's, it's always great to have have length back there in the secondary, especially you talking about defending the deep ball, and and, and just a just a big physical body out there. Uh, but but he's he he and other guys as well. They they all bring unique qualities to the secondary when they're healthy. Is he a guy that's kind of taken on that leadership role back there that you can tell? Or? I don't know if I would say he's necessarily taking on the leadership. We have a good room. The guys all get along. They like each other. They, they, they push each other. They have individual goals. But I think the defensive and the team goals mean the most to them right now, and they, they push, each, push each other. And, you know, Coach P hired me to be, be the leader. So I try to lead by example, and, and, and hopefully everyone just, just follows the example that I, that I put out there for them. Coach talked at Media Day in the ACC a couple of weeks ago about this might be the best secondary potentially that, that he's had at Louisville. First of all, that, that put some pressure on you and Coach Ward. What, you know, when he says that, I mean, do you see the potential to be that good for you guys back there? That's always the goal. That's always the goal. He brought me here to do a job. And my job is to exceed my head coach's expectations of me. And that's my goal every day. So our goal is to be the best secondary that we've had here. But if I'm blessed to be here next year, that our goal next year to be the best will be to be the best secondary that we have here. So that's the year, that's the yearly goal. And like I said, the guys just show up with great attitudes. They show up and they compete with each other. And it's been a pleasure for me to coach them every day and teach them in the meeting rooms and, and like I said, my job is to, is to exceed my head coach's expectations of me, and that, that's how we try to go about our business. When we've talked to a couple guys, they all mentioned Marlon. What, what's he bring, and what is it that has you know kind of some guys talking about him? Well, he's another solid body. You know, I guess he's about six foot or so, probably at two hundred pounds, can run, has has good length, also experience. You know, he's played college football, and and and. Uh, it, it'll be now one thing. Now we won't get ahead of ourselves because we have not tackled yet, and you can't be a, a, a good secondary. You definitely can't be a great secondary if you don't tackle. So, so we, we won't get ahead of ourselves. We, we want to have an opportunity to go out and tackle. But, but Marlon is, is, is has the potential to be a good player. The players have talked a lot about with Coach Van Gorder bringing in his new scheme that they have to learn a lot of the new uh, terminology. And the same stuff means. Use different words to say the same thing. Right. Is there a process for, for you, for coaches, for that too? It's definitely a process. It's definitely a process, and it's a it's a very detailed system. Coach Van Gorda is a detailed coach, and 
I, I would say he teaches football. He teaches football. And, and all of us will leave here smarter football players having studied under, under Coach Van Gorda and Coach Petrino. They, I would say they both have their PhDs in the X's and O's of, of football. So as assistant coaches and as players, if we take great notes and study our notes and learn our playbooks, we, we'll all leave here more intelligent football players. What about some of the young guys? Um, who have you, what have you seen from the young guys so far? Right, they've all done a good job. I just talked to them after, after, before I came in here, and they've all done a good job. We, we've recruited the right young players, and uh, they just have to take care of each other and uh, continue to learn the playbook, continue to learn situational football. That's different from high school to, to college. You know, high school, you may have one alignment on, on four or five different calls. But in college, you may have a different alignment in every call, so they have to continue to learn the college game. But we signed the right, we signed the right, right young young players. Our future is bright here. Is, does Chandler? How much of an edge does that give a guy like that who was here in the spring? Learn from you. You know, you were new, he was new, but right. but yet still, he was here. It has to give right. him an edge, doesn't it? I, I was. Anytime you have an opportunity to gain more reps than, than the guys you're competing with. Uh, it definitely gives you an edge, and, and it's kind of like driving a car. You don't get better at driving a car unless you drive. So he's had a chance to log some miles. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, All right, guys. Thanks, Coach.